Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Jado Civil Academy. Uh, in this class, I am going to discuss about TSE Set 2020 question paper Solutions for Transportation Engineering Questions. So, let us start our discussion. The first question asked in this Transportation Engineering in TS 2020 question paper is According to the IRC 731980, the roadway width of a double lane national highway in plain area will be. So here I have a clause from IRC 73-1980. What is it given in this clause in 6.2.1? The roadway width for a single lane, two lane roads in plain and rolling terrain, the width of the roadway for single or two lane roads in plain and rolling terrain should be given in table number 5. So let us see in the table number 5. In for the national highways and state highways, it may be single or two lanes, the roadway width will be 12 meters. The same thing was given in our question that the roadway width for width of a double lane national highway in plain area. So this is a roadway width for a double lane national highway. How much it is? 12 meters in plain terrain. So, for this question, option A is the correct. Right? Then we will discuss one more question here. The following type of soil can be classified as a problematic soil. The option A is silt, B is clay, C is sand and D is silt and clay. Among the given four sets of soils, the problematic soil is a clay soil because it has a low strength it has low strength and high compressibility, high compressibility, high compressibility. And in addition to this, when it will absorb the water, it will change its volumetrics. Means when you retain the water in it, then volume is increases. When the water is goes out, then volume going to be decreases. So that's how the volumetrics of this clay, so clay soils will going to change. That's why this soil, the clay soil, is considered as a problematic soil. Then we'll discuss one more question here. The advantage of traffic signal can be referred as no rear and end collision, option B, orderly movement of vehicle, option C, easy segregation of traffic, and option D, quick movement of vehicle. Suppose to answer this question, I will take a one intersection, a signalized intersection. Say this is a intersection. At this point, I have a signals. So when the traffic from this stream will go through like this and it will go left like this. During this time, the traffic from this lane and will be stopped, right? And then it will go and vice versa. If you want to allow this traffic, then this area traffic will be stopped and allow this traffic to go in this direction right and and go in this direction right so the advantage of traffic signal can be referred as it will allow to orderly movement of vehicles it is allow orderly movement of vehicle the option b is correct for this question then we have one more question in waterbound macadam roads that is wbm roads the following material act as a binding material Cement, option A is cement, option B is brick, option C is sand, and option D is stone. In given set of options, but there are two binding materials. Cement also a binding material and stone dust also a binding material. But in WBM roads, the cement was not used. Cement was not used. So the stone dust will act as a binding material in WBM roads. So, the option D is correct answer for this question. Then, we have one more question. The best sleeper material follows all requirements of an ideal sleeper. One option A is wooden sleeper. Option B is cast iron sleeper. Option C is RCC sleeper. And option D is steel sleeper. The given set of sleepers, the best sleeper material is wood. The option A is correct. What is the reason for this? It is highly insulated material. Highly insulated means it will not allow the electricity to pass through it. 
unlike your cast iron or cesian st uh, steel stepper and it is very flexible it is a very flexible material and it is easily available and it is easily processed the wooden sleepers are easily processed and one more thing is we can easily handle we can easily handle this because of this uh, important characteristics the best sleeper material will consider as a wooden material for the preparation of wooden sleeper then we have one more question here a causeway is a structure constructed option a to accelerate the traffic in highway to allow the flood water over the roadway to pass over a bridge to enable the passing over the cutting and adapted for the large span bridges the answer for this question answer b is correct to allow the flood water over the road to pass over so i will explain this why it is correct answer so we have a stream of water here and here we have a road and here we have a road right in this stream the water flows only in one season that is in rainy season so when the water flows in a limited period of uh, period of time we will not construct a bridge over this so the only option for this is uh, a low lying uh, causeway so is a hydraulic structure constructed across the stream right like this so the, it will allow the water from this stream during the rainy season only that's why it is a correct answer for this question to allow the flood water over the road to pass over it so then one more a last question uh, in our transportation engineering the approximate one span of rcc slab bridge with a clear span l and d is the total height of the pier or abutment generally if the clear span is l and the total height of the abutment or a pier is l the ratio of this l by d is considered as 1.5 considered as 1.5 right so from this i can write l equal to 1.5 times d so let's see our options option a l equal to 1.5 d so answer a is correct for this question so thank you that's all for transportation engineering